Hello, I would like to welcome you to Threading Stories. Uh, my name is Teresa Rogerlis. I am a textile designer and a maker. Um, I am the co-founder of Threading Studios alongside my partner Alejandro Villasis. And we have started this uh, space with the idea to create um, a unique place that shows tradition, craft, and celebrates the making process. Um, the Folder Bulloom project has developed an educational tool that promotes and preserves craft practices. The project was initially developed in 2012 in the UK with a small run of production uh, that was called Looms that was trialed in different private institutions around the UK. Fast forward into 2001. Uh, the project took a different dimension and the initial 3D model drawings were developed. Now presently, the project has created a small series of products uh, that are in the initial stage of prototyping. And the idea is that the products um, will exhibit a perfect combination of the merge between technology and traditional craft and how a successful collaboration from different partners could result into something fruitful. The project methodology involves interactive prototyping, which is a common practice in product design. The production of the folder volume required several activities within the TMS Digital Fabrication and Rapid Prototyping Workshop, as well as the testing and production in the traditional woodworking station. With the support of the TMS team, the work was developed in three stages. The creation and final formulation of the 3D model, the testing and assembly of the usability and functionality of the initial prototype, and finally, the revision and refinement of the product samples. Now, the table loom is a tool that has been around the craft sector for many years. It has been used for textile designing, uh, production, sampling in the, in the industry, and as well as the handcraft sector. What we would like is to continue developing such a tool and using it as equipment that can be used in education, in primary schools, in high schools, and in different educational scenarios. The result is a tool that targets the arts education sector and the design made community. And the idea is that we would like to continue developing such products to be able to use in different uh, setups from education to research, from manufacturing to prototyping, and in different scenarios. The goal is to create a product that is accessible and inclusive and can be operated in different scenarios. Our idea is that the Folter Volume project exhibits a successful merge between innovation and tradition and also presents a successful example of how knowledge exchange can be utilized.